What's up friends and car lovers? Drake Donovan here from Car Show Life on the 2024 Hot Rod Power Tour. We're in Bowling Green, Kentucky. It's day one of this five day mobile car show and we're taking in all the sights and sounds. I got to do a little autocross with the Car Show Life Phantom Camaro and uh, we're walking around, taking a look at cars, talking to folks. So let's take a look around Bowling Green, Kentucky's Beach Bend Raceway. Hot Rod Power Tour, day one. If you live the car show life long enough, you'll see cars that you recognize from different places. The vehicle behind me is a 57 Chevy known as Project X. Now, Hot Rod has used this as a test bed for performance parts, and it right now sports the GM Performance 632 cubic inch big block. But when I first met the car in 2021, it was converted to all electric. It's had many different drivetrains over the years, and it's all been done by Hot Rod Magazine. It's the Hot Rod Power Tour, and some power just cannot be contained. Check out the hood treatment on this Willis Jeepster. It's as though it's exploded through the hood. <laughs> what a killer rat rod build. Plymouth GTX build here from Rooster's Rod Shop in Gaffney, South Carolina. The flake in this paint is calling to me. There's some uh, Condicate design door handles, completely redone interior, but look at that painted dash. Problem child. Yeah, I can imagine with a paint job like that, this was probably a problem child. <laughs> Indeed. What do you think, PT? I love this artistic impression. This is very, very, very Oh! <laughs> well, I was thinking, you know, the car is called Problem Child. Oh, so it's named after you. She named it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll say it's after her. Oh, with that smile and those batting eyes, how could she ever be a fool? <laughs> Daddy's little girl. How, how long did the build take? About six months. Six months? Okay. So, it's that, been done about 10 years. Oh, wow. So, that's a 10 year old paint job. Yes, sir. Wow. That's what I pride myself in is my paint work and my interior. And uh, so your your uh, Rooster's Rod Shop? Yes, sir. Gaffney, South Carolina. Yes, sir. All right. Well, thanks for living the car show life with us. The man, the myth, the wannabe legend. <laughs> Now, at an event like the Detroit Autorama or the SEMA show, you expect to see a lot of automotive ingenuity. But here on the Hot Rod Power Tour, you get to see some of it in its rawest form. But this Corvair behind me is a pretty cool build that's very well done. It's a front engine, rear drive Corvair. Now, the Corvair was an air-cooled car. This car is a Corvair in the cosmetic sense, the Corvair body is placed on the chassis for a 78 Monte Carlo and it's got a small block 350 under the hood. But man, does it look and sound cool. I can't walk more than a few feet from one ingenious custom car to another here on the Hot Rod Power Tour. Behind me is a Mini Cooper S, but this is not your ordinary Mini Cooper S. This is a Cooper SS, under the hood, small block Chevy, front engine, rear drive. We've got the SS badges off a late model Camaro and the statement, I fixed it. <laughs> You're the owner? Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Cooper SS. <laughs> I can find my keys. You might, you might like to hear it. Oh, I heard it on the drag strip. Oh, you did? Yes, but yeah, go fire it up. Now, 
Even a, an original Mini Cooper S would never have sounded like that. <laughs> Well, I gotta try everything, right? Besides, it's the power tour. I'm here to do some power stuff. But thanks for noticing. <laughs> Thank you. Kentucky. If you want more car show life, you can check out these videos here. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media on Facebook and Instagram at Car Show Life. Back in Hood Up. Until next time, I'm Drake Donovan. Thanks for watching.